Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Allah halal family Welcome to the channel you beautiful people I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful day In today's video guys we'll be reacting to uh, Four uh, churches that have been burnt in uh, Canada This video was suggested by brother Lutfi Thank you very much Terima kasih shukran and mercy for uh, taking the time to send uh, this uh, video uh, This video is uh, by uh, Dakwa Herian TV And the link is in the description in case you guys wanted to check it out So without further ado guys now let's get started with this video. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Maliki Yawmin Deen. Masha'Allah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Wa Harian TV yang dirahmati Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Segala puji bagi Allah Tuhan semesta alam Salat berta salam Tak lupa kita sanjungkan kepada Jun kita Nabi besar Muhammad Sallallahu alaihi wasallam Untuk keluarganya, sahabatnya dan juga untuk umatnya Sahabat aku kabar mengejutkan datang dari salah satu negara di benua Amerika yakni tepatnya di negara Kanada Kanada berada di benua Amerika Utara Sahabat aku suku asli Kanada yakni suku Indiana Yang mengejutkan ialah ada sejauh ini sudah ada empat gereja yang dibakar oleh warga setempat Apa penyebabnya? Sahabat aku berikut ini adalah ulasannya from four churches so far it's uh, i think it's because people are really dissatisfied uh, with with uh, uh, how the church has been dealing with with uh, the recent events that has taken place in, in British Columbia in the province that I live in uh, I believe in, in a couple of uh, old residential schools um, bodies were, were found of uh, children uh, in, in mass or unmarked uh, grave uh, so these were uh, schools that were run by the government of Canada um, as well as the, the church and they used to take the Aboriginal children uh, to uh, these schools and, and force them to uh, leave their uh, parents, leave their family and um, learn English for example, not uh, speak their own languages, not wear their own traditional clothing. Uh, they were given English names and um, a lot of them suffered from physical trauma, um, as emotional trauma as well as uh, sexual uh violence and um i think you know some of them for example if, if they didn't comply with what was being forced upon upon them uh you know we, we don't know for example what exactly had that happened but you could imagine right because there were older people in power and uh, then there were kids right so um yeah I, then unmarked graves hundreds of bodies being found throughout canada you know the canadian government needs to stand up and take uh, accountability it's uh it, what is happening in palestine it happened here as well um 150 odd years ago when uh, uh, the european uh, explorers came after that they they basically started uh, taking over the land and uh, limiting the movement of the aboriginal people and uh, then there were some more uh, i guess uh, uh, policies put together and one of the shameful policies were the residential uh, schools and that's so far, I think there was 215 bo bodies that were found in a city called Kamloops, and I think there was another one 
in another school as over 700 I think bodies of um, people who were found I think mostly kids which is really sad. suku Indiana adalah suku asli dari benua Amerika mereka menempati Amerika dan juga di Kanada namun sejauh ini mereka di genosida oleh orang-orang pendatang yakni orang-orang yang pendatang dari negara Eropa Sampai dengan kuah buntut dari ditemukannya sebuah kuburan masal maka empat gereja dibakar oleh warga setempat dalam satu bulan terakhir ini semoga dunia internasional juga dapat mengungkap kebenarannya Sebenarnya itu saja informasi hari ini semoga bermanfaat juga menambah wawasan pengetahuan kita tentang dunia dan kasana Islam. Jangan lupa untuk share, like, and subscribe di bawah harian TV. Baru kalau fikum wabutai wal hidayah wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Jangan lupa share video dan komentar anda. Yeah, the brother is right. You know, the international community needs to um, take accountability and 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 uh, hold Canada accountable and ensure that there is a proper investigation uh, that uh, takes uh, place. You know, the Aboriginal people of uh, Canada have been uh, suffering for for uh, generations now. You know. Um, people that had their grandparents and their parents uh, in residential school, they're still suffering because uh, their parents and their grandparents have, uh, you know, uh, traumatizing events still in their uh, memory and it's not easy to, to live through that, right? And if you're having a hard time living through those memories and experiences, obviously that the children are going to to see some of that too right some of the stress some of the anger that you might have internally so this is a really really sad uh, situation you know we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides us all on the right path and uh, keep us uh, on the, the right path so we can uh, stand uh, uh, with the tr truth and with those uh, who are on the right path uh, so thank you very much guys for suggesting this video if you liked it please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you like me to react to another video you can include your uh, suggestions in the comment section below and as always thank you very much for all your love and support i hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family inshallah i'll see you guys in the next video take care and wassalam